Okay, so I'm gonna start with first the leaves on here. I basically plotted this whole thing out in uh, a sector by sector format. I'm gonna basically make each of the two fruits and then I'll make one leaf and I should be able to stretch it out and cut it into two parts and reuse it. Um, normally I would do the same thing with the fruit itself, but it would take a couple days because, uh, well, anything bigger than about 10 millimeters you don't want to leave on the bench. Um, I generally put anything that is 10 millimeters or larger in the kiln to cool. So this cane is going to be fairly thick, um, definitely over 10 millimeters. So I'll make two of them and put them together. The other two can be cut in half. Okay. So to start, I'm just going to use a really oxidizing flame and condense a bunch of this acid yellow for the main part of the fruit. A lot of people are afraid of these brighter crayon colors for, uh, for work where they're just using the color uncoated and raw um, without sleeving it, but if you use uh, the proper settings on a flame, uh, proper flame settings on your torch like this GTT, they're absolutely creamy smooth. It's just all a matter of introducing enough, enough oxygen into the mix to cool the flame down a little bit and just work it a little bit further out so it doesn't bubble. I'm just going to go ahead and pretty much condense this ins entire stick to form the, the core, uh, which is number one in the diagram. Basically, Mirini making is a process of building out from generally the center um, with essentially like a cell-like structure. Uh, what I do is draw out my diagram of exactly how I'm going to proceed with the Mirini. Start with the easiest part or the center. Uh, if you're making a face or something, I usually start with the eyes because it has the most detail. And I just kind of work my way out from there and just continue to build and build. And um, it might be small now, but uh, some of these turn into huge, huge masses of glass about the size of that water jar in some cases. Um, the token Tanuki Mario cane I pulled down a few months ago was about that size when I finally had it completely cased and clear. Now I'm just going to go ahead and basically go ahead and reheat this whole mass and reform it into a cylinder on my torch marver. So as you're building these, it's important to keep the entire thing straight. Uh, it, it's, it's really easy for one side to get a lot thicker than the other one, especially once you start laying down stripes. Just something about the nature of the stripe, it, you know, typically what you want to do is not have much of the rod that you're applying preheated. So it doesn't leave a big glob at the top and doesn't trail behind on the bottom. 